So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. This week's video is all about the balloon chart or also known as the bubble chart in Excel. The bubble chart is basically the same as a scatter plot but it has a third data series to determine the balloon size. Well if you like my video please subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. So this video is all about the balloon chart in Excel. And in one of my previous videos, I explained the scatter plot chart. And the special thing about the scatter plot chart was that it needs two data series, one for the x axis and one for the y axis. Well, the special thing about this balloon chart is that it needs three data series, also one for the x axis and for the y axis, but it also needs a data series for the balloon size. So, what you can see in this example, it's basically a scatter plot, but the dots in the chart have different sizes. The one is bigger than the other. So there's also a data series to determine the size of the balloon. So that gives you more opportunities in the scatter plot chart. In this video, I'm going to work with this example. I have some improvement IDs and I gave a number for the cost of the ID the revenue of the ID and the complexity of the ID. And you can see the cost and the revenue determines the place in my chart and the complexity determines the size of the balloon. So basically a ID which is in the lower right corner has low cost and high revenue. And if it's a small balloon, it also has low complexity. So that would be the ideal improvement ID. And you can see that very clear in this chart, in this balloon chart, which ID has the most potential. So we are going to make this balloon chart in another sheet and we are going to build this from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my insert tab on my ribbon, go to the insert scatter plot and I want a bubble chart. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to right click in my chart, go to select data. I'm going to add another series and here you can see I need an X value, a Y value and the bubble size. It's also a data series. So the series name is improvement ID. The X values are the revenue. The Y values are the cost. And the bubble size is determined by the complexity of the ideas. So just press OK, press OK, and here you have your bubble chart. We need to do some more things, some formatting things to this chart to make it look like exactly the example. So first of all, we are going to do something about the grid lines. For that, select your axis, press Ctrl 1 to go to your format menu. And we are going to use five as a major unit. We are doing the same for the other axis. And we want that from zero to 10. And we want five for the major unit. So that defines my chart in basically four squares, just like in our example. Now I'm gonna add the axis titles and I'm gonna remove the axis values. Just select it, press delete on your keyboard and they are gone. So this vertical axis value will be the cost and the horizontal axis value are the revenues. So now we are going to make this a little bit bigger, make it bold and give it a green color. And also for this and also for the chart title. Give it a green color, a little bit bigger and bold. We are also going to remove the outline of our chart. Just select your chart, press Ctrl 1, go to the border and say no line. You see our line is gone. Well, we want our bubbles in a green color. So just select your bubbles, press Ctrl 1, go to the fill and line, go to fill. And I want a solid fill with a green color. I also want data labels in my bubbles. So just select the bubbles, click your plus sign, check the data labels, 
And we are going to change the data labels a little bit. So select your data labels, only your data labels, press console one, and I want a value from cell. I want a number corresponding to the improvement ID in the data label. So click value from cells, select the number, press OK, and uncheck all the other things here. Now you selected your data labels. I want to give them the color white. I want it bold and a little bit bigger. So just close this one. So now we are going to format our grid lines. Just select your chart and make sure you select your grid lines. Press Ctrl 1. Well, I want a solid line in the color green and I want it 1.5 points. Same for the vertical grid lines, a solid line, color green and 1.5 the thickness. So now we formatted our chart. Well, you saw in our example, I had some text in it. So how can we do that? We can just go to our insert tab and click on text box. I'm gonna add a text box in here and it says high cost, low revenue. Well, I make it a little bit smaller and I want it the color green. And I press Ctrl one and the, I want no fill. And the line, I want also no line. So close this, I can copy this three times and I'm gonna do this a little bit faster. And now you see I added some text in my chart, some text boxes, but you will notice that when I move my chart, my text is gone. So what can I do? I can select my chart, hold down your control key, select all your text boxes, right click and select group. Well, if you select it now and you move it around, you see my text boxes are also moving with my chart. So this is the way you can make this beautiful bubble chart or balloon chart. So like you saw, the balloon chart is a perfect chart for, for example, rate improvement IDs. I hope you learned a lot of my video that you can make your own balloon chart for yourself. And if you like my video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of my videos. Thank you for watching.